On July 1st, 1999, a terrible tragedy happened in the French Alps. Just one year ago, you have the Cavalisi cable car disaster, and now you have this. This is the story of the St. Etienne and de Vaulois cable car disaster. In the early morning of the 1st of July, 1999, 20 staff members working for the Plateau de Bur Astronomical Observatory boarded a cable car serviced by an aerial tramway owned by the company. All 20 people were French and included five astronomers, nine construction workers, four technicians and two maintenance workers. The cable car had been working in perfect order and had just had an inspection However, disaster still struck. At 7.15am, the cable car detaches from the cable and plummets down. All 20 people die instantly upon impact. Witnesses reported that it seemed as though one of the cables holding the car had snapped. Local officials stated that the gondola broke free from two of the three cables which supported it, causing the third cable to collapse. Remy Caron, a prefect in the region, told a press conference that it seemed as though the car unhooked itself from the cables for an unknown reason. Initially, the state prosecutor demanded a six-month prison sentence for eight maintenance workers at the observatory for their contributing roles in the accident. However, nearly five years after the accident, the court acquitted five maintenance workers at the observatory of charges related to the actions which contributed to the accident. In addition, the, the Plateau de Bur Astronomical Observatory was fined 200,000 euros. That is 209,700 US dollars. However, 130,000 euros, 136, 305 US dollars of this fine was later dropped. Three maintenance workers at the observatory were convicted on negligence charges. Aldo Aberti was the maintenance engineer who removed the safety brake from the cable car, allowing it to accelerate uncontrollably along the cable and slip off it. Aberti received a 30-month suspension from cable car operations, which was later reduced to 24 months, and was also ordered to pay a 10 a 10,000 euro, 10,485 US dollars fine for his role in the accident. Edouard Ponchier, the cable car inspector, also received a 30 month suspension from operations, as well as a five year ban from being allowed to inspect cable cars. Ponchier was also fined 12,000 euros, 12,582 US dollars. In addition, Marinus de Jonge, the former director of the Plateau de Bur Astronomical Observatory, received the same sentence as Ponchier, along with a 15,000 euro, 15,728 15, US dollar fine. It's been 20 years, and so far cable car crashes are becoming a thing of the past. Hopefully it will stay like that forever.